So, yung ICT ay nag-hold yung ICT sa support na ito. So, we need to see. Ah, we need to watch this uh, ICT. International Container. Kung hindi niya ma-break itong support na ito, and there is a reversal candle, it's good. Huh? Nag-hold po yung ICT dyan. Pero pag ma-break yan, no, so iwas muna. Si there is a possibility that he will go down again. Base sa ating indicator, EDX is mahina po, below 25 non trending yung, yung ICT MACD is nasa below signal line so we'll see just monitor this ICT Jollibee si Jollibee price action so nag hold pa rin dito sa may uh, inclined support so we will uh, see kung magba bounce back pa si Jollibee ok so tingnan natin kung magba bounce back si Jollibee so pap hindi so, uh, Jalibi will go down this location. Maybe he will hit on this area again. Pero kung mag pull back, going up. So, this is the resistance. We will watch this area kung ma-break niya. So, it's good. At basis, however, all na pattern ng GFC. Um, it is a bullish pattern pero bandang dito eh, humihina po yung momentum so we will see here this area kung umabot sya dito na din pull back and then he will uh, this, uh, resist, this support will hold so it's good for Jollibee pero base dito humihina siya din itong area so we will wait if he will break there's a pullback so baka babalik sa, sa baba so but we will see yung MACD is closing up now our positive the negative DMI is above the positive DMI so ito po yung area na kailangan may decision na yung buyer and seller so masikip na po diyan yan na po magkaalaman yung Jollibee if it will go up or we will go down again so next one is GGS Summit EDX below 25 price action still various uh, pattern and beside that the all moving averages is above the current price so we will wait uh, G GGS to stay on this area so mahirap po pumasok dyan it's a various pattern so we will wait for the client resistance na ma break so LTG ang LTG ay maganda po yung uh, ginawa niya nung 3, 3 days before ang kahapon if LTG will break this resistance and it will hit this area and then there's a pullback it's good 
so we will always see the pullback of the price so ito po yung pinakano sa stock market always see the support area kung magre yung presyo or not huwag niyong titingnan yung resistance tumaas naman yung presyo pero nasa resistance naman so there is a possibility na kung hindi niya ma-break yung resistance the price will go down again so always watch in the support area so now the price of LTG is in the resistance so we will wait LTG to break this resistance and then if there is a pullback and rate on the support kasi yung resistance ay magiging support so kung may pullback so this is the time you need to participate so next one is metro bank yung metro bank ay nasa ibaba pa rin ng lahat ng exponential moving average so various condition uh, downtrend so we will see metro bank on this location kahit lagyan nyo ng trend line dyan sa pull pa rin yung uh, metro bank so various pattern so it's good kung nandito na yung metro bank na area mag hold ditong area so ngayon wag muna yun. kita natin yung kahapon yung parent ceiling is 25.41 million nag green kahapon pero it is not enough you need to see in the chart what the company price is doing so, hindi lang yung bili ng bili kasi tumataas na kahapon tumataas sabi na oh tumataas na yung presyo baka diretso na we need to see the pattern kung ano na nangyayari bearish pattern or bullish pattern itong mega word ganun pa rin bearish pattern pa rin siya and beside that it is below all exponential moving averages the price is below exponential moving averages so we need to see mega word to break this incline resistance and stay on this area kaya tingnan natin dito sa ating in sa indicator na ginagamit yung EDX still below 25 so non trending stock yung MACD cruising down no? So, hindi ibig sabihin na yung MACD ay nag-curve up, pwede nang bilhin. Pwede siyang mag-curve up, but after that, he will going back down. So, we will see the price action. This is the good uh, indicator or movement na titingnan natin kung ang pattern ay bearish or bullish. Pag ibig sabihin, Pag bullish, the buyers is in aggressive. But if bearish, the seller is still in control. Based sa pattern ngayon, it is bearish. So, avoid muna yung mega word. We will wait if he will break this resistance, incline resistance. Mirror ko. yung Manila Electric Company ay tinatry na na mag hit ito yung previous resistance maybe he will hit on this area okay creating a small double bottom small pattern double bottom but take note this is a bearish uh, bearish pa rin yung Manila Electric dahil below sa lahat ng exponential moving average yung pressure 